What's up everybody? The Void here, finally with a new video. Uh and I'm gonna be going over one of the best, if not the best, lighting system for RPG Maker MV. Uh, I've gone ahead and set up this little demo test map. Uh, you can download this project uh, in the description down below. And basically, it uh, I have a bunch of I just have the basic some basic events set up, and uh, you can do some cool stuff. With this so you will see if you just enable light switch, it doesn't do anything, which is why this mask opacity is here. Uh, depending on what variable you set in the plugin parameters, you can go ahead and change how the lighting is. So this is just the black mask layer is only on 100%. Here, change it 200%, it's a lot darker and the lights shine out a lot more. And, add it, and then here we go, it's completely black like uh, Terax lighting. This is like Pokemon style. Then, bam, back off. So yeah, let's go into how to get this set up. So in the project file, I have just some basic plugins. I just have this for like looks, right? But the three main uh, plugins you'll want are these three orange lighting plugins. Uh, the title self-explanatory, uh, this, this is just the main core plugin where you change, uh, where you can change just like basic parameters. Here, I have both. I have the light mask and the opacity variable set to one. Uh, if you have these set to a switch or a variable, uh, by they will not be uh, they will not be enabled. So you are gonna have to manually enable them. If you want them to automatically be enabled, uh, don't change. Uh, don't keep the uh, keep these at zero. However, I recommend you do keep these on a switch and just have it like toggled whenever you go into like the first 70k or something or else you won't be able to change the opacity variable uh, mid game and that's pretty important you can also change the default mask color you know red blue green yellow purple uh orange probably like any other just like basic uh, basic color I'm not sure which ones you can do or not and this just affects tint speed so basically how fast it goes from like like when you enable it to uh, when it gets to the actual tint or not really tint but more like the, the faded effect the second uh, plugin is uh, an add-on to the first one this controls your vent lighting so this this just change this is a basic uh, change size around uh, your event so like this vent right here, it'll be like 40 uh, from 40. I don't I don't know what units it uses. Whatever units RPG Maker uses 40 pixels, probably. Uh, nah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be that small. But maybe it's probably it might it's the radius, so it's just gonna be 40 halfway. It's really small. Just know it's really really small. It would you probably want this a lot higher, and you can just change it through simple note tags. These go directly in events. I'll show you those later. And then the last plugin is the player lighting. Uh, I'm as far as I know, I don't think you can uh, like ca like can change this mid game. Uh, I might be wrong. There might be another additional plugin, but I don't think you can change these mid game. Uh, so yeah. This, this is a switch, basically if you don't want the player to have light around them, go ahead and turn this on and when you do this, or have this set to one or whatever uh, variable or a switch, and then when you want the player to actually have light around them, go ahead and enable that. Uh, the flicker for just like the player might get really annoying, so I have that on false. Uh, that's just like a subtle, like the light goes on and it just like, goes off like but only partially and then the player color I just have to set to white as default 
And then let's go ahead and go in into uh, some of the events. Uh, this is the light based on the plugin parameters. For so, if you just want the basic light based on what you have the parameters set on your plugin, you have this light right here. So you just go ahead and put the note light, but it's really small. I'll show you that again once you get. Or actually, I can show it to you right now. So it's really, really small. I'm gonna put on 255 for the best effect. Uh, but look right here. You can see how small that really is it, that's that's 40 so you probably don't want it to have want it to be set as 40 uh, the next one is campfire actually let's go ahead and to this one over here first and this is just the, the bigger light so you can custom set how big you want the radius of the light to be all you have to do is go ahead and change it so say you want this to be like Instead of 200, maybe you want it smaller to like, or maybe, yeah, 150. Actually, I have another event, 150. Maybe you want it 500. Let's go ahead and refresh that. Uh, go ahead, turn this on. Light switch. Uh, I don't need to save. Nope, I didn't save it. I'm, I'm good at this. Uh, 255 light switch as you can see this entire half is illuminated based on this one switch Or this one event not switch my bad And then uh, right here uh, This is the campfire uh, Hold on I'm not gonna ordering uh, so next up we have the orange light uh, base so you don't want your radius to be too small when you're doing specific colors. This uses a hex code. You can go on like color hex or color picker website and then just like find whatever color you want, paste it in there, and you know, you got your color. Uh, the radius, uh, yeah, the radius for the light you want, if you have a color, you don't want it, I think, any smaller than like 50 or 60, or else it like you basically won't see the color. And it's it's too small at that point already. It's basically kind of useless if you have it that small. And here is just a, a larger one with just a larger radius. Same thing as this, just this. This was copied over here and I just changed, added the color note tag. Uh, campfire, finally. This is, this is the same thing as the rest of them. I have this set to a red or a red orange. And then it has a light flickle effect, uh, which is the subtle, uh, if you look at it closely, it's pretty hard to see, but you can see how it like grows smaller and larger. Yeah, it's pretty hard. It's like, it's pretty. It's not, it's not that hard to see, but it's like, pretty, it's pretty subtle. It's, you know, you can't see it that well. And then, yeah, and then last one for the water. I just have that set as like a cool effect, as you can do with water. Uh, so, what I do have set up uh, in these switches, this, this switch just controls if it's on or off. Pretty simple, and this uh, just changes uh, the changes the variable of the mask. Another cool thing you can do, which I actually don't have set up, I think it's in vent lighting. Yeah, right here you can add certain script calls, and and like and you can have certain lights disabled until you like pull a switch or something. So. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can set that up. Uh, create a new event right here. Uh, actually, let's have a new event right here. Have a person, sure. Go ahead and do script. Uh, I need to check the plugin parameters again, or the help file. Uh, 
the okay so it's based on the event so we don't actually want you uh we want you and then we're gonna have the script right here disable light uh, action button and then turn self oh, i can't self switch a on new event page which will self switch a off apply self switch a on same as characters action button so if we have that set up properly which i hope we do or i do have the game open let's see and so it's just 255 turn this on as you can see the lights there if we click it it's gone and there's no light on uh on and there's no light because i'm dumb <laughs> copy this over Enable light. For sake of testing, let's just make this bigger. So it'd be light underscore re radius 100. Two, five, turn that on. Bam, a light, no light, light. No light. Light. No light. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, what else? And the. Pr uh, is there anything player? No, just more based on events. Uh, there is the, a flashlight. So let's go ahead and set this up. Uh. Probably should have deleted the uh, actor, but whatever. It doesn't really. No, I need to use a proper graphic for this. No evil Sinji guy here. So we're gonna go ahead and script this enable flashlight. New. Turn on a cell switch. Event page. Evil self switch on. Now, this is off when you talk to him, and this is disable flashlight. So it, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's not that it's not like, oh, you have to do like 10 pages of events and stuff. Talk to him, he has a flashlight. Talk to him again, he doesn't have a flashlight. And you don't even need to set up a lighting event on him. Uh, so if we have him just like move random move randomly. Turn this. Let's go 200. No flashlight. Turn it on. Bam, he has a flashlight. And I I can't. It's you can view all this in like the project demo I'll have uploaded, so you don't have to watch me do this. You can just use it as a basic template. No flashlight. Flashlight, and it follows him around. That's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm guessing. So the flashlight switch for the player. I think actually if you do something like this so we have this we have new control switch I'm gonna have to go down for actually so we have this as four Clear flashlight on and then clear flashlight off. So I'm guessing the player has no light, talks. Yeah, you know, you can give the player a flashlight instead of using the giant surf thing. 
already pretty cool. Now, there are other lighting plugins like Terax, Thomas Edison. Uh, yeah, I think those are two others. Uh, but personally, I think uh, I personally use orange lighting because I think it's like the coolest and most customizable, and like you don't have to have the screen like completely black like Terax. And Thomas Edison, uh, it's not that great for like clear stuff. I mean, it works, like, it just takes longer to set up and it's not as easy. And you can even see how on the flashlight right here where my mouse is, it's it gets bright, it's the brightest, then it gets darkest. And that's that's pretty cool. I actually didn't know about the flashlight, I always just use the circle thing, but I might switch over to flashlight now. Uh, no, like, uh, yeah, let's set this to complete darkness. It's pretty, pretty cool. 100, you know, it still adds a lot. It just adds a lot to your maps. Uh, it looks like this. It's just like a basic dark, dark screen. We can go ahead and add a tint screen. Don't we have it one, have it dark. Okay, that's the auto run. We're gonna have an erase event. Erase, erase event. So, say this is what you have as a cave, right? Uh, looks okay. It doesn't look the greatest, right? Now let's go ahead and enable the lighting. Okay, automatically so so much better so so much better like look at this it, it's so much better like like this it's it looks so much better you can add a lot to your mapping by just simple simple note tags it's like it's not even hard it's just a couple of note tags and just enable some switches, change variables. Easy. And you can make the maps look so much better. Like this adds so so much more character into your maps. And you can use it in towns, not only caves, you can use it on any map for whatever you want. And it just it'll look a lot better. Uh so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on probably the best lighting uh, lighting plugin or plugin for uh, RPG Maker MV. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.